Today's tip is a devastatingly simple one. I cannot believe I didn't work this out sooner. When I did work it out a few years back, I was kind of slapping my own head thinking, God, why didn't I realize? Uh, but a lot of DJs who I show this to also don't realize it. So let me explain what I'm doing here. I'm putting a folder on my desktop called My iTunes Music. And the idea is I'm in iTunes here. Here's my whole music collection. And I want to put this collection into that folder. So why would I want to do that? Well, maybe I want to go to a different computer entirely uh, and start again. Maybe I don't want to use iTunes anymore. I just want to arrange my music in a different way. Or maybe I want to get tonight's playlist and put it onto a USB drive or into a folder, take it somewhere else, go practice it a friend's house whatever the thing is these tunes may be all over the place if in your itunes preferences you don't have copy files to itunes media folder when adding to library tick then when you add stuff to your itunes it just remembers where it is it doesn't actually move it into one place so that means that your music could be anywhere on your computer it could be in your downloads it could even be on your desktop if you're messy it could be in your music folder you could you might have a free music downloads a cd a vinyl rips you might have loops and one hits in tracks or whatever all that stuff could be indexed here in one place in your itunes collection so in other words this is just a, a catalog it's just a list of, of your music it doesn't necessarily mean it's all in one place even if you have got that box ticked in itunes for it to organize your music it's not as simple as that because in the itunes folder where it would put your music in the media section there is a music folder containing all that music every single artist has got a folder in here and within those folders there are album folders because itunes will attempt to organize the music by different artists in different album folders as well so for all those reasons you might want to just say you know what i want to go into this copy of itunes and i want to get all my music from this whole song list here out and put it into one folder or onto a different drive or i want to get tonight's gig music out and do the same thing put it into uh, another folder or onto another drive in order to do something with it so how do we do it? Well, the first thing we do is in our preferences, if we are Apple Music users, make sure you've turned off show Apple Music features. Otherwise, in these lists here, there will be stuff listed, which is not your music. It doesn't belong to you and it won't work with what I'm about to show you. So by turning that off, you know that everything that's being listed here are local files, at least they're somewhere on your computer. So once we have done that little thing, we move to either one of our playlists, and this is a playlist I just kind of arbitrarily made called tonight's gig. We highlight all the tunes, we click on them, and we drag it to our external folder. It's that simple. We let go and look, they're all copying across. And that's it. I've now got an actual physical copy of all those files, no matter where they were on my system, in one folder that I can back up, that I can put onto a pen drive. Uh, I can now delete iTunes. I can now do whatever I want, and those tunes are safe. And of course, I just did that for a few tunes in one playlist, but I could also do that for every single tune that iTunes knows about on my collection to get a guaranteed all in one place backup of everything that iTunes knows about. So this has been another iTunes tip from us here at Digital DJ Tips. If you've enjoyed this, please share, like, follow and do all the good things so we can keep bringing you these tips.